Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share with you a couple of layouts that I've um, finished and I've put pictures on, but first let me show you. Um, I was able to find these two milk glass um, lamps. This one here, and I did put um, the lampshade that I had from the other one. The other ones were pretty, but the thing is that they were very wobbly, so they were constantly moving. So I just switched a lamp lampshade on this one. And this lampshade looks okay, but let me take you to where I put the other one. And I just think that this lampshade is too big for this one here, which is in my... Let me let it focus. Let me get this out of the way. There. I think that lampshade is just too big, so I'm going to switch it out and put... The ones that they came with are really nice, but there was a problem with it. Um, when the guy went to mail them, after he said it was $13 to mail them, he took it to the post office, and the post office said that the box was too big and wanted to charge him $55 for shipping. So he asked me if it was okay that he put it in two different boxes, which was fine with me, but, you know, once I paid him for the shipping and I paid him, it was $23, $24 for both lamps, including the shipping, which was $12, 12 something for shipping. He ended up having to pay shipping twice because he had to ship them separately. And the shades are nice, but I liked this one that I had altered with the butterflies, but I think I'm going to have to take it off because I think the shade is just, I don't know if you guys can see that well there. I think the shade is just too big for the lamp since it's not that tall but we'll see um maybe i'll just alter the other shades but let me also show you the layouts that i've been working on and putting pictures on now granted these pictures are from when my my daughter was first born this was her first year she was a premature baby she was only a pound and 14 ounces so she looks really tiny here she looks like she's six months old because they're behind with their um, growth and stuff until their second year. Um, and I did do her first birthday of clowns, so this layout was perfect. And as you can see, I used yarn here for the clown's um, hair. And here I used some fibers. And here on his shoes, and the shoes I glossy accent. And then here's her grandfather. Her first birthday was all clowns. This outfit was really, really cute. You, it's a shame that I don't have a picture of her with her clown. It had a huge clown here on the side. And then she had these red um, uh, shoes, the shiny shoes in red that tied around the ankle were really cute. So this is her with her uncle, and she's upset because she doesn't, I guess she didn't want him to carry her. But as you could see... Um, and there's another clown, and that's her her grandfather from her um, dad's side of the family. And then here is another, the other pictures. Let me lift this up because the glare of the light. And then here she is, also her uncle trying to tell her to look at the camera. She's just upset. She wants to leave. So that's one of the layout. Let me show it to you this way. Sorry for the glare, guys. Here's another one of the clowns. And then let me show you this layout. This is a sleepover. We would have sleepovers all the time. This is this was actually our let me lift this up. Family room. So here's my daughter. And here's her cousin. And then here you could see them all laying down. This was our family room. And then I did, the bears are all dressed up. Look at their little slippers. Look at this one's slippers with the bunnies. And this is all paper pieced. She's holding her little bear, but I don't know if you could see that, but even the little, this, this piece, the, I mean, you could see how tiny it is. It's all cut, and then it's popped up. The ears are a separate piece all, as well on the bunny slippers. So there's another bear, and then she's got a bow on her head, and this one has a flower. And what I did on this layout is the paper was all pink, and this paper was a separate paper. So I fuzzy cut all the flowers out, and then I just put Mod Podge on top. I don't know if you guys can see the shine on it because of the Mod Podge. And there's a pillow. And then let me show you the other picture, the other side of the layout. 
Here the girls are all asleep. These are all cousins, so see this one has her um, pillow and look at her little um, shoes. And this one's little shoes has little flowers and she's got her purse. And then there's her bows on her head. And these bears are all, like I said, they're all paper pieced and each piece is separate. This piece is one, this is one, then the eye, the face, and then the eyes I did draw myself. And then this pink is a piece, this brown is a piece. And then, like I said, her clothes is all different pieces. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can tell there all the different pieces. And then here's another pillows. The other uh, two more pillows and then another little bear. And look how cute these little brads are. So that's another layout. And then here's another one. This one's called Plain Dress Up. And then she's paper pieced. And she's just a little girl all, you know, you could tell her clothes just doesn't match her with her hat and her scarf. And here's my one of my daughters. Here's her, her cousin. Here are my girls. Plain dress up. And here they are again. Plain dress up. And then here's a pocket. So I have the pictures in there. And then the other side. Let me show you guys the other side. The other side I made a... Gosh, I know this lighting is bad. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. And here, let me take this picture out of the way. Okay. And then see the curio I did and then look I cut all of this was cut out with the Cricut so here I made it seem like if it was a mirror my husband said I should have framed it but you know what it's staying like that and then on this side are the hats hanging you can see the little hanger and then here I made like a a rod and then look at all the little dresses and all the little different shoes and here shorts and skirts and little um, shirts so that's what I did on this side so that's her curio and then when you close it it has a little flowers here as the opening so that's this layout let me get it this way and then this other layout is called so cute this was a weekend that the dad had taken my oldest um, out with him so I left with the youngest to Disney and her aunt and then here she is at um, Disney World playing up here where all the kids were playing and here she is just playing so I took random picture and here's one where she's running up the stairs and here she is sitting up here you could see Mickey's sorry for the glare guys let me see if I can you could see Mickey's head made with flowers. I planned a journal here, and then this layout is just called So Cute. So these are my um, layouts that I've um, been putting pictures on. And as you could see, there's a stack of pictures here, and I have sticky notes on it of names of layouts that what I want to name the layout and stuff so I can work on them. So that's um, what I've been working on. And then let me show you one more thing that I put in my room. Actually, a couple of things. This is a candlestick holder that I had purchased. And this weekend I, I found this little dish for 25 cents. So I bought that and I just glued it with the, I used actually liquid nails. And then I also bought this dish, which was also 25 cents. And then I purchased let me show you um these two milk glass vases and then i put these little flowers i think they're called the forget-me-nots i put those there and then i put let me show you this one which is also a milk glass vase and i put these colored ones pinks with these colors and then i put this um seam binding bow with this little flower so basically that's it guys i'm just you know like I said, I'm, I'm putting pictures on my layouts and um, I will be back with some more. Thanks for watching.